coming. All right. That's all I'm going to say. you got it taken care of. All right. So, Pastor, I will yield uh, the farm line, and um, I'll be listening up and listening out. But I really thought, I thought about the night was Friday, and the station at the guy at the station said, oh, it's not Friday. We, we got one more broadcast, and he kind of got me because I guess I woke up thinking it was, well, it was Friday night, a short night. I got a little mixed up tonight. But anyway, we're still on target. So thank you, Pastor Volga, for everything. And we'll be listening in as others call in at 838-1035-313-838-1035 if you have a prayer request or a testimony you want to share with Pastor Volga. So do that tonight. Let's keep night busy, busy uh, for this uh, very blessed broadcast. Thank you, Pastor. And uh, we'll call back in a little late, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And um, I'll ask the station again how many calls we have. All right. um, Taking uh, our next call at this moment. God bless. You're on the air. Am I on the air, Pastor Bobo? You're on um, the air. Yes, you are. Oh, I am. This is Bernice calling in again. You know, Pastor Bobo, I do send in texts, and I am going to continue to send you something on your for the cost of operating the uh, night vision. But you know, I've asked two or three times to get copies of your sermons. And each time I've sent the money in, I've sent in enough to ask for a sermon copy of your I'm not getting them. I get, right. them. I get the receipt, but I do not get any any uh, any copies of your sermons. And I well, wonder why, have to... because I put it in the letters when I write you. All right. You talk to Pastor Dave, because he's the one that controls that. And he's on on the last broadcast of the do I, send, do I send the payments to him or send them to you? I send you them to my vision. If you sent the money to us, then the all vision. you do is he'll tell you. You don't have to send any money other than the way you're doing it now. But you talk to Pastor Dave and he'll get the messages coming to you. Okay. Well, that's what I wanted, because I do want your sermons, and I do want to send something every month. And I usually send enough where I, I feel that, uh, I, you know, I've been, I haven't been getting these sermons, and that's been bothering me. Okay, then, thank you so much, Pastor Bogle. And, you know, I'm going to support you, and I enjoy it. And I'm praying with those that call and ask for prayer. I'm praying, and I and I know you all are praying for me. So but you're not you so you're not supporting hmm? me. You're supporting a ministry. Yeah, that's right. I'm supporting the ministry. That's right. Okay. That's what Did, what uh, what uh, I meant to say. If I didn't say that, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Now, Pastor Bogle, continue to pray for me because I am, I'm doing very well for my age-wise, but it is taking a little toll on how I respond to some things that are happening in my life at this age. Because some people think when you get old, you got to go crazy. But God has kept me so well in my good mind. And ask, just keep praying for me that I do stay mentally healthy, okay? And what age are you at now? Pastor Bogle, I've been telling you for the last year or two that I was 95. I was 94 last year, or 95 now. And oh, I, I thank 96. God for this call. I want others to pray for you. Yes. I'm so thankful. At this age, you could be calling in. And thank God. I'm asking, you said you're 95? Yes. I'm going to ask so many to pray for you. I thank God for your testimony. Thank you so much. And I will continue praying with you. 
thank you for this testimony that someone at age 95, a daughter of yours, could be calling and be part of this moment. Minister to her and bring her further. Help us all in our journey. Minister to all of us and we shall thank you. Thank you for this moment. But bless this daughter of yours that's blessed already to be as old as she is and still able to be calling. Minister in this moment and we shall thank you. Yea, we come to thank you in this moment now. And uh, the phone number is 313-838-1035. And I'll ask the station again, how many calls do we have? Wow, the Lord is blessing and uh, taking uh, our next call in this moment. God bless, you're on the air. Hello? Yes? Hello, Pastor Bogle. Yeah, the beautiful, gorgeous Detroit. Very interesting. Kramer Theater, Globe Theater, Thunderbird Hotel, the El Dorado, the Star. The people are smart, geniuses, experts. The Mercury, the Americana. Boy, the changes. Norwest Theater, Cinemax Projection National. My father was 115, and my mother was 114. You're a young guy. Still with Your me. father was 115? Yes, he was. He would mow grasses, he'd rake leaves, he shoveled snow, he'd go to the drive-thru window, pick up chains, he'd pick up bottles. He was a character, you know. But I hope you pray for me, Pastor Brogan. We even had the family theater. It's so beautiful and gorgeous. They're experts, geniuses, and all that. You can give them medals and trophies and honors. But I'm glad you put me on the radio. I hope you make a hundred million. Thank you for taking my call, Pastor. But we'll pray for me. Big Red. And uh, what do you want us to pray about? Well, I want you to pray that maybe one day they'll redo all the theaters and all the motels. It's all different now. Thank you, Pastor Bogle. God, lead and guide this son of yours. Bring him further in all of his moment. Blessed of thee, minister in this moment, and we shall thank you. Bless this one that is with a real testimony. Bless God, I pray in Jesus' name. Grant it. We shall thank you now. Yea, we do. And uh, taking um, our next call at this moment, but let me give the phone number. 313 838 one oh three five and in uh, ten minutes we'll be having station identification that finishes the first hour and uh, taking our next call God bless, you're on the air. Uh, 
pray for me. Pray for me, Pastor Bobo. I'm a backslider. I want to come back to the Lord. I don't want oh, to. Oh, I love me. what you're saying. Are you a woman or a man? I'm a man. And uh, what age are you at, backslider? Uh, I'm 57 years old. Time to come back to God. I thank God for this call. I want others to pray for you. But as you are thinking, God is now blessing thee. Dear God, I ask that you would continue to bless this one that is wanting to be all you want him to be. Bring him further in this moment. Minister in this moment now. Granted, God, I ask God that he could truly have the ability to resist the devil because your word says the devil will flee from us and not stay when we resist him. Thank you for such a scripture. Minister to all of us in this moment. Dear God, we pray. Take us further. Bless exceedingly. But God, I'm so thankful that you have promised to heal us. As Jesus, you spent day after day healing the sick when you were here on earth. And you said that healing was going to continue. Bring us further and bring us on with a testimony that, praise God, my sickness has gone. Praise God, my sickness has gone. But, Lord, if we get better spiritually, then physically is a blessing from Thee. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank You. Bring us further in this moment. Grant it, God, and we shall thank you now. And um, the phone number is 313-838-5673. Again, 313-838-1035. And uh, taking our next call, God bless, you're on the air. Hello, Pastor Gogo, it's Martha. Yes, Martha. How are you? God bless your soul. I uh, think the world of you and your program. And every time that I lost, it seems when I talk to you, I feel better. So um, if you could pray for me, I have an unspoken prayer request. And uh, I'll be, be glad to pray that. But I want you. you to know that this is not mine. It's God's ministry. Uh-huh. Well, he works, he works through you, you know. And he's using me. Yeah. But it's not, not my ministry. It's God's ministry. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm mighty glad he is. <laughs> and you, you got something unspoken to us that you yeah. want to pray? Dear God, in the name of Jesus, 
That which isn't spoken to us, but it's spoken by her to thee. Give her the fullness of blessing. Minister in this moment, and we shall thank you. Bless us going forward, and we shall rejoice. Bring us further than where we are. Change for the better. Help us in this moment. And we're here to thank you now. The phone number is 313-838-8255. And I'll ask the station again, how many calls do we have? I'm glad I didn't have any. I think I heard you right say it one more time. Hallelujah. Thank God for the moment. Taking um, our next call. God bless. You're on the air. Uh, yes, Pastor Will. I wonder if I might have the honor of giving the mailing address. Who could you be? I could be the messenger. Hallelujah. I want you to do whatever God puts in your spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Bobo. Uh I will be calling in again later in the broadcast, so because it's close to station break, I'll just do a uh, very abbreviated address. So if you just tune into this program, or if you are a longstanding member of the broadcast <laughs> family, you are listening to Night Vision. Night Vision is a standalone listener supported prayer and testimony ministry. Night Vision comes to you as a live broadcast five nights each week and originates in Detroit, Michigan. You can reach Night Vision at area code 313-838-1035. Once again, that's area code 313-838-1035. If you'd like to play a part in guaranteeing Night Vision's future by making a donation to help pay for Night Vision's airtime expenses, you can make your check or money order payable to Night Vision. That's capital N-I-G-H-T, capital B as in victory, I-S-I-O-N. That 